Marcy here with an all-natural DIY sunscreen. Take a double boiler and put in a quarter cup of beeswax pellets. If you don't have a double boiler, you can take any old pan, put some water in it, and put your mason jar in the pan and melt on medium-low. I do the pellets first because they take a while. They take a little bit longer to melt. That's a quarter cup pellets and one quarter cup coconut oil, two tablespoons shea butter, and that's optional. Those are really nice for your skin. Moisturizing. Half a cup of almond oil. The coconut oil and the shea butter have SPF of, I've seen four to six. Um, the almond oil, four to six as well. So melt that, then take it off the stove and add in two tablespoons of zinc non-nano zinc oxide. And that's the white stuff, so it's white powder. Don't inhale it. It's a barrier for your skin and I've seen different SPFs on that too, but it can range pretty high. Um, it does make your your uh, mixture kind of a little white. You have to make sure you stir it in good. So take your melted your melted guys off the stove and put in your zinc. Mix it really good, and then use. I I added this is optional too, but carrot seed essential oil. So you might have to get a couple things, you might not have them laying around, but this I've seen anywhere 25 to 40 SPF. And I've seen you can put up to a teaspoon, which would be half of this 10 milliliter bottle. And I just did like 10 or 15 drops. I have to say I didn't care for the smell super a lot. So I added about 10 drops of geranium and 10 drops of lavender, because those are really good for your skin. You wouldn't want to add essential oils that are citrus-based because they will make you photosensitive. You could get splotchy. So mix that up and you have this This little, this is what it looks like. Um, made my skin really moist. I spent three hours in the sun today and yesterday working on the car in the yard. Did not get burnt. I am pretty fair skin, so without sunscreen I would have been burnt for sure. And it let in some some rays so I could get some color too. Um, you could do less than the two tablespoons of zinc oxide if you wanted to get a little bit more sun coming in. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. That's the recipe and my skin is still kind of kind of moisturized and looking good after a shower and everything. Um, you do want to mix that white powdering good and I still had like a little bit of whiteness if I didn't rub it in really good but that is how you can make natural um, sunscreen our skin is our biggest um, organ so putting chemicals all over it is not what I want to do this summer but I don't want to get too much sun so and I love to be outside so have a great day and hope you enjoy this recipe oh, you can uh, I'll put put the instructions down below and please ask questions if you have questions. And I'm gonna put this on my channel on YouTube. All right, take care.